Hey everybody, it's Gloria Ortiz with Real People Realty, or some of you may know me as Glow, as in hashtag go with Glow. Today's formation Friday, I'm going to be sitting with one of my clients, Alyssa, who happens to live in a condo, and she's going to give us some information that I myself wasn't even aware of, and I thought it was some good information to get out there to potential future condo owners. Um, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so... What you taught me, which I didn't know before, is about um, not being able to get your windows replaced just by anybody when you right. live above a certain floor. So I'm going to give you the floor and let you tell us about it. Sure. So I and my family, we live on the fourth floor of a condo and we needed to have some windows replaced. They were the old wood windows. We want to get them replaced with vinyl. So I started calling around the major companies, um, Feldco, of other type of companies and determining, trying to get some quotes. And so when I was asked what floor of my condo I lived on and I told them the fourth floor, they advised me that they unfortunately are not able to replace windows on floors above the third floor. And apparently you need to have a special type of licensing. It's like a high rise licensing to be able to replace windows on floors four and above. So that was more difficult because we had to try to call around and try to find who companies. has this license, who has this license. So there are there are a good amount of companies that do have that license. So don't think that, oh, no, am I only stuck with one? You know, we found a great company that we like that replaces the condo so that the outside matches and just uh, according to the to the condo restrictions or, or what they allow. But so you're was, still within the rules and the uniform that, that they require from you. Correct. But the um, you probably wouldn't be able to go to just, you know, a big box, like, you know, warehouse type of um, store. home improvement store, yeah. get windows and then have one of their employees replace the windows unless those employees had that special licensing. So the main reason why I wanted to talk about this is today is because obviously Alyssa and her family didn't know that when they purchased a condo, that wasn't a question that they asked. Everybody knows that condos have rules and regs and you have to be uniform and you can't do certain things, but no one would ever think, you know, if, I mean, someone can have a sale on windows, buy one to get one free or, you know, 40% off. But if that company is not licensed to do mm -hmm. floors three and above, or above three. Above three, correct. Then you wouldn't be able to use that company. Right. So it's just something that you may want to. Now, just one last question, Alyssa. Um, was the association at all, were they able to refer you to companies or did you kind of have to do your own research? You know, that's a good question. I didn't ask because just the type of person I am, I would normally do my own research anyway. Uh -huh. So they might. So I think it's a, a good, a good um, question to ask. Correct. When you're okay, I just I kind of I googled you know window replacements near me, and then I started calling around to um, different companies. I would always I would also ask on um, websites or apps like Nextdoor, talk to friends and family. Hey, you know what company did you use to replace your windows? And then I would call them and ask, Hey, are you able to do a fourth floor condo? And they would tell me, of course, right away if they had that licensing or not. Oh, so they automatically knew what you were talking they about. They automatically already. knew. There's no okay. question about it. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any real estate questions at all, my contact information is on this page. Feel free to reach out to me and I'll see you next month with a different topic. Thanks.